Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to your daily Wallops weather briefing for Monday, July 8th. Seeing a, quite a bit of rain out there this morning. We've already uh, seen over two inches of rain, which is more rain than we've uh, seen in the past month here at Wallop. So breaking that dry spell, and we do anticipate that rain to continue as we go throughout the rest of the day today. Taking a quick look at how our rainfall uh, has progressed so far this year, we've been a pretty seasonable or pretty average with uh, our rain. We did see quite a bit of rain in the beginning of uh, February and into March, and that helped to bump us above average. But as you can see here, ever since um, June, we've really kind of flatlined with uh, receiving no precipitation, almost getting us back to where we uh, should be this time of year. And uh, that that will definitely uh, change as we get our rainfall totals for today. Um, but you can see we are finally breaking this long dry spell that we've uh, had here for about the last uh, month or so. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the region this morning, seeing this uh, area of low pressure developing over the mid-Atlantic region, we do have a stationary boundary uh, draped across pretty much right on top of wallops, and that is helping to uh, give us just this continuous band of rain that's uh, continued to uh, redevelop uh, directly overhead this morning. We do anticipate this to really continue throughout the day. Um, can't rule out seeing a brief break in the rain towards the late morning hours, but it does look like if we do see that, we are going to see that rain uh, redevelop as we go towards the early afternoon, and then uh, as we go towards about 6 p.m., then we should finally start to see things uh, slowly dry out. But uh, we will see the next two days be uh, rather pleasant across the areas. We have this large area of high pressure behind this low. That will build uh, north of the region, giving us some uh, drier, more seasonable temperatures with less humidity and uh, mostly clear skies. Taking a look at our uh, upper level winds this morning, seeing those winds uh, easterly or southeasterly at the surface, all the way up to about 3,000 feet. Um, still seeing that fairly weak flow that we haven't seen for a while. <laughs> winds are uh, pretty light and variable between six and 9,000 feet, then shifting more westerly between about 10 to 15 knots and then up to 20 knots at the 25,000 foot level. Freezing level this morning, just above 14,000 feet. Taking a look at some rainfall totals that we've seen so far this morning here at Wallops, we, if you uh, can't see this, we're this says 2.31 inches that we've gotten so far, and this is a little bit delayed, so we've likely uh, gotten closer to 2.5 inches um, as of the 10 a.m. hour. So seeing uh, the most rainfall here at Wallops, we are seeing another uh, big uh, thunderstorm complex over the uh, D.C. area. That's also helped to drop between about two and a half to three inches of rain up there and that's going to slowly uh, drop south throughout the day it does look like the bulk of that rain is going to remain west of the bay as we go towards the afternoon but that will uh, help to um, redevelop rain chances as we go towards the afternoon as we see uh, perhaps a brief break in the rain late this morning then that uh, will front will make its way down south giving us a little bit more higher rain chances uh, after the lunchtime hour Taking a look at our satellite across the region, do you have a sta that stationary boundary is pretty much draped like right overhead, like I, uh, we were discussing earlier, and seeing that to help to continue the rainfall development right across the region, um, and then as we get the that front still uh, across the area, we're going to get that weak cold front moving south, and that's going to give us another chance of rain this afternoon. Could be seeing a little bit of a clearing. You can see a. A little bit of a clearing on the satellite up near Cambridge, and uh, if we can get that nudge a little south, that might give us just a little bit of a break in rain, but that is uh, looking more and more unlikely as we continue to see this rain develop directly overhead. Taking a quick look at our short-term model to see how this rain's going to progress this afternoon, you can see we are going to have this that stationary front keep that uh, rain, those rain chances directly overhead, and then there's that larger area of thunderstorms currently over the D.C. area moving south, and like I had said, it does look like it's going to remain uh, mostly west of the bay, but still going to be seeing some shower chances make its way over here this afternoon. And then after about uh, 6 p.m., which is uh, this frame here, going to start to see that rain move south of the area, and then we'll be drying out for the evening and overnight hours. Taking a look at our forecast for today, going to be seeing a high near 81 degrees, perhaps a little bit uh, cooler than that if that rain uh, decides to uh, continue throughout the day without giving us any sort of a break. We are going to see those winds become more easterly as we go uh, closer to the noon hour, around 9, 9 to 14 knots in gusting, and increasing a little bit beyond that as we go towards the afternoon. 
uh, maxing out at around 11 to 16 knots and gusty. And then as we go towards this evening, those winds are going to slowly weaken, becoming northeasterly at 5 to 10 knots in the overnight hours through mid-morning Tuesday, seeing a low tomorrow morning of about 68 degrees. Going to be seeing uh, those uh, rain chances continue through noon, uh, only running about a 70% chance afternoon. Right now it's a 100% chance it is, as it is raining out there. And they're going to see those lightning chances drop off. Doesn't look like they're going to be as high this afternoon as, as they were this morning. And then uh, still seeing uh, those low clouds continue throughout the afternoon hours as well. Take a look at our terminal forecast. Going to continue to see ceilings between about 500 to 1,500 feet, especially when we get into any heavier rain showers. Not going to really be seeing those ceilings lift up until after sunset. Then they'll become a few at 2,000, scattered at 4,000, broken at 10,000, then slowly becoming uh, less cloudy as we go to the overnight hours. By the time we get to the mid-morning hours tomorrow, we are going to be seeing mostly sunny skies, just a few clouds at 2,000, few at 6, and a few at 12,000 feet. We are seeing tides one half to one foot above normal across the Delmarva Atlantic coast this morning. Taking a quick look at our uh, weather model as we go into the extended period, as we go throughout the day, this is going to be uh, seeing that rain continue. And then uh, looking into tonight, you can see that high pressure is going to start to nudge down southward. And that's going to help to usher in a little bit more of a drier air mass, helping to clear those clouds out and give us some uh, much uh, drier and cooler temperatures as we go into uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Going to be actually quite pleasant out there seeing those highs only in the mid 80s and much less humidity than we have been seeing for the past week or two. So uh, definitely going to be some very nice outside weather for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then as we go into uh, Thursday here, we're going to start to see that high pressure uh, move east of the uh, northeastern United States and that will help to slowly return a southerly flow and by Thursday we are going to start seeing things warm up again as well as an increase in moisture and humidity uh, for the end of the work week. So taking a look at our seven day forecast you're going to be seeing that heavy rain continue today. Tomorrow and Tuesday are going to be very similar to each other both uh, seeing mostly sunny skies temperatures only in the mid 80s with a uh, much uh, lower humidity. We're going to see those morning lows more seasonable as well, down into the uh, mid-60s for Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning. Then Wednesday night, we're going to start to see those winds shift a little bit more southerly, bringing in some more moisture and uh, some warm advection to the area. That'll help to bump those uh, lows up back into the low 70s, and then seeing those temperatures into the upper 80s, closer to 90 degrees as we go into the Thursday and Friday. We're also going to be seeing a week of surface trough across the area on Thursday and Friday, uh, seeing some scattered to isolated storms, uh, pop-up thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday. doesn't look like we're going to very high chances, only about the 20 to 30 percent chance for uh, both Thursday and Friday, mainly Thursday afternoon. Friday does look like there would be a chance for an isolated storm as we go into the late morning hours and afternoon as well. And as we go on to Saturday and Sunday, it does look like things are going to dry out a bit, but uh, we're going to continue to see some westerly flow and uh, that'll help to give us uh, some very warm temperatures across the region. But it doesn't look like we're going to see uh, any shower or thunderstorm chances for this upcoming weekend. Just partly cloudy skies and uh, very warm temperatures. That'll do it for your daily weather briefing. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. and at 10 a.m. Have a great day.